Hello everyone, this is Dr. Aeronautics, and today is Northern Land Teniso episode 44. Um, I brought the train down here, and uh, we're going to build the next capsule uh, for the next space mission. You can see in here, I have everything that I need to build the capsule and the rocket. Um, I have a very low frame rate for some reason. You can see that the rocket that we used for the... Um, beach or mercury program is no longer on the launch pad. Um, I have officially dismantled the uh, dismantled the capsule. It's in storage right now. Um, if you look at the mini map, if I move, if you can see the um, horizontal line there that represents where I am, directly east in this direction, the very last thing that you hit, maybe about a tree width uh, to the forest, is where the capsule is. Um, so it's actually sitting outside the museum right now uh, as a thing for people to look at and climb inside. Now unlike the annoying things at museums where you can just go and see the outside, which is no good because you can't actually appreciate the engineering vehicles for what they really are unless you get inside them. It's like, okay, yeah, this is the capsule. That's more of the, oh my gosh, rather than uh, look at all the stuff this thing can do. Uh, but in Norsden Land, all the kids can climb inside the vehicle and everything. We have everything secured, so it's not like they're going to set it off or anything. Uh, so we're going to get to work building the capsule now, and I'm trying to think, where would you build a capsule? Um, it shouldn't be here. Ah, yes, we can move to the... Let's actually build it in one of the airport hangars. It'd be kind of neat. Yeah, wanted to get the sword up. Uh, yeah, there should be enough clearance here that we can build it. Okay. So I have the schematics, and I'm going to go ahead and get those now. Okay, so uh, this is... How did I make... I could have sworn I made that map disappear, but anyway. Uh, this is the shopping list, and over here is the schematic. It's a very small capsule, just like the original one. Um, now, for the structure, we're going to need some smooth black stone. Not much, because it's a capsule. We're going to need some ship controls for the uh, control systems. Um, we're going to have two windows this time instead of just one, because there's going to be two people on board. Then we need the electronics uh, modules to put on. The fuel tank and um, RCS tanks. So now, one interesting thing about this capsule is it's going to be a lot more, uh, it's going to have a lot more robust RCS system. Instead of being able, just doing retrofire, we can actually do legit orbital transfers. Uh, so we need five meters. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, hmm. We actually can't put it on the stone because that will... So that's one, two, three, four, five, and then it's going to touch the roof. So. Uh, it actually won't fit into this hangar. Um, I don't want to build it in a full-scale as vehicle assembly building. All right, let me consult my records and see what buildings we have. Okay, so after consulting the uh, thing, it has told us that the, the best place to build the thing is here, in the payload processing facility of all places, which would make sense. Um, so, you know you've built a uh, big enough space center when you're, um, when you're forgetting all the different buildings around it. It shows you that you've really um, done above and beyond and whatnot. Okay. Um, yes, the gray is structure. So, right in the middle, we're going to build the RCS module first. So, right down the middle is tank. 
and then right around are four RCS thrusters. And it's kind of nice that this is a 3x3 three because three, we're finally getting to the point where you can actually begin to see uh, the structure and it not just be some agglomeration of blocks. That's why I'm super excited. When we go to build the Saturn V, um, it's going to be super exciting because it's, it's going to be an object that's actually big enough where there's enough blocks involved that it will look circular instead of just an agglomeration of yeah that's power instead of just an agglomeration of random blocks okay so I'm putting down the power modules now um, yeah I didn't think those could interact in any way uh, and the green are the controls interesting well if we can't put that down now we can put down some structure really now why can't we put down the ship controls oh, okay there we go I'm not sure what that was about two windows one two uh, the rest of it is structure. So there's one, two, and let's see if we can figure out how many blocks are between there. That's two, which means this must be three. If that's three, the block of one in there, so that's one, two. Oh, what the heck, we'll go for symmetric. Whoops. I accidentally activated the capsule. Uh, luckily, it was not attached to the ground, so we didn't have any uh, uh, fatal fa failures. Whatever, it's dirt. And ladies and gentlemen, here is your capsule for the next five years. It's pretty good. It's a lot better than the um, than the Mercury capsule looked. Granted, it doesn't look exactly like Gemini, but we're getting there. When we do Apollo, it should be three by three, and then it will finally look legitimate instead of being off um, pointed and everything. Let's hope that the helicopter is big enough to bring it over. Okay, so I'm in here now, um, ready to build this. Now, the um, Gemini Titan II is a 3x3, three three, and I'm actually wondering right now um, whether or not... Um, I can't tell if that's 2 or 3. Okay, so yeah, the Gemini Titan II is a 3x3. Uh, three and I'm actually wondering uh, if we're going to have enough room up there for it. Um, I know the... Uh... Okay, yeah, that's right. Um, I know that the uh, pad 20 there, we're going to need to add at least another level onto it because, yeah, we're definitely going to not have room because this thing was, I think it was a... 33 meters tall, if I remember this correctly, uh, but we're going to find out. Okay, so we're looking for orange. What is orange? Orange is engine, which is furnace. I had to do my best uh, with the blocks in Minecraft. It's not like... Um, unfortunately, uh, some things just don't work out in that way. Okay, so black, I believe, is structure. No, that's fairing. And fairing is smooth white stone. Make sure I get this right. So if I'm reading that properly, it means that there's a 9x9 nine nine here.
Okay. So that is the fourth level. Now we're going to have to be careful because there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Am I counting that right? Six. Yeah. Six levels of yellow. Yellow is fuel. Um, fuel tank is smooth white stone and black stone. And this is the hardest part of the build because it involves multicolored things and it's night, which means we need to have a sleep. Okay, now instead of boring you with walking back, I'm going to go ahead and look for that. Okay, so um, I couldn't find one, but um, I did find out the pattern is pretty darn easy. Um, so I should be able to do that. It's alternating um, white and black stone for three meters, and then the fourth meter is all black stone. So uh, if we look at this here, smooth white stone, smooth black stone. So there's the smooth white stone, there's the smooth black stone. Um, so another thing that's pretty neat about this is that um, I can't, I'm not going to be able to talk while I'm doing this. Another neat thing is that it's actually 3x3, three three, so it doesn't look fake like the other one did, which was only 2x2. Two two. Okay, so this is level 1. Let's put those next there. This is level 1. This is level two. This is still level two. Okay, this is level three. Still level three. Okay, uh, now level four is where we're gonna make our ring all the way around of Blackstone. And here's another really neat thing, is that there's actually room in the middle for fuel. Like, uh, unlike last time when it was all solid, there's actually a hollow area in this one now. Okay, that was four. So then we have um, now all smooth white stone at five and six. Okay, now above that one, we have um, two layers of black, and black is the fairing, which is smooth white stone. So uh, we're actually going to have two more layers of this. There 
is the tank cap. So this is now uh, the oxidizer tank. So we've had our two levels of fairing. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six levels of O2. Um, O2 is the tin decoration block three. Did I count that right? Six? Yep. Okay. Uh, consulting the image and yep, everything looks about right. Assuming that the fuel tank is, yep, that mix. Alright, so it's just uh, six blocks of this. So here's the first two. still pretty far. Five, six. Guess I misjudged the height over there. Wow, what a tank. Okay, so the next thing above, um, I'm actually having legit fun building this now, because I can actually see, like, the physical, the physical workings of this thing. Because that's basically what a rocket is. It's a giant fuel tank with an engine on the end of it. Um, that will take us to the end of there. We have one level of fairing, which is smooth white stone. And that's going to go all the way around. And then the purple is an interstage adapter, which is going to be stone brick. So now this is the end of stage one. If you want to go from here on up, you need uh, a second stage. Um, hopefully I didn't miscount this one. Okay, so now we're on to the second stage. We're one above the purple. So now we have um, two levels of fairing again. So there's one, two. Perfect. Um, engine on the bottom. And now this is a uh, fuel tank, second stage fuel tank. Second stage fuel tank uses a, a combination of smooth white stone and smooth black stone. Consulting the guide, uh, looks like there's about two meters, if that, of the um, switching. So that's one, two, and then the third is the adapter. So yeah, it's just two, two alternating. Um, consulting the diagram uh, it is staggered this time so now the blocks are going to be up here so it's one two just like that still got room we're almost to the top we might not need it um, okay uh, now we have two layers of fairing, which is um, all white stone. So here's the two layers of fairing. plug in. Now this is the um, LOX tank and above this the LOX tank I believe is tin decoration block. Yes it is. Okay so that's just one level. Bandicam messed me up again. Luckily that's a recoverable thing. If I misplace one of the white stone, it'll get I'll get back cobblestone if I break it, so that would kind of irritate me. O2 
Okay, there's the oxygen tank. And to cap it all off, we have one more level of fairing. And that's the end of it. Okay, so now in front of us is a fully constructed, and now you can now you can truly see how, how that compares. We're definitely going to have to add a level. I um, should write that down, 104. So that's the rocket top it is 104 when the bottom is, and we're going to have to figure that out. Okay. All right, so I'm going to fly out so we can admire our handiwork of the... Wow, we're almost out of room. That's actually pretty good. So we can admire our handiwork of the Gemini Titan II. And here is the rocket that we built. And I have to say, that actually looks pretty real. I'm not kidding. That is really neat. Okay, now what do I need to do? Um, oh yes, get the bottom, the bottom level of when the top is, the bottom is... I can't even walk under it, that's pretty funny. Um, can I get that piece of dirt back? Okay, so the bottom is at 76. And it's nighttime, which is actually a good, good, uh, good timing. So what can we do now? Um, let's go ahead and add the connecting bridge here uh, to the crane. There we go. So now we can actually move the rocket the next morning. Okay, so here I am on the launch pad. 71 is the roof of all of the connectable objects, therefore 72 is the minimum height, um, which means that the rocket top will be at level 100, exactly. Um, there will be an interstage, then there will be the RCS level, and then there will be the bottom of the capsule. So that's um, one, two more meters that we have to go up. Um, so the top of the rocket structure there needs to be level 102. Now let me see if I have the stone to extend this. Okay, so I have I do have stone. Um, good news, bad news is um, it's not a lot, but um, for some further good news, um, it doesn't look like we actually have to go far at all. This is already level one hundred. Um, oh right, because that's actually up higher than it's going to be. Okay, so let's see what we can do here for. this. Here we go. Now we got a beam to work off of. Okay. Um, can't put a block there. Let's grab one more piece of stairwell. Um, here's another neat thing, is that I now have 70,000 um, stone thanks to my uh, advanced storage system so uh, that means that we are going to go ahead and uh, create a large shipment of there we go uh, create a large shipment of uh, a freight car full of stone down to the Space Center. Okay, now where's that rocket gonna go? I can't see the pad. Okay, so that's this one. One, two more meters, it's gonna center right here. So 
So we want these three to be level 102. We got plenty of stone. Uh, so the launch escape system will now be a jump into right here. There we go. So if you need to make a launch escape, you just jump right into there. That's the closest thing in Minecraft to a zipline, unfortunately. Um, or did I try that with, um, I forget if whether or not I tried that with minecarts, whether or not that worked. Um, let's grab the lifeboat as well and move that one up. It's amazing, you know, 1965 and we're still using, uh, still using our hands to... Um, take apart chests instead of axes. Okay. Um, launch escape system there. Okay. That's all set. So here's level 102. That's going to be level with... Um, consult my diagram here. The rocket top will be exactly at 100. Then there's an inner stage. That would be 101. So that would be 102, which is where we are now. I don't think we need to go up anymore. I think that's it. Okay, so now we're going to begin the process of moving the rocket to the launch pad. So here's a really neat hidden glitch. Let's say that there's an enemy um, satellite above, abo above you, and you don't want to show that you have the capability to launch ICBM missiles. Cloaking activated. Yeah, where is it now, huh? You can't find it. Nope. No, you can't. Well, unless you're, like, side on from here, but looking down from above, you can't resolve that. Are we aligned right now? No, we're one off. All right, so I'm going to do a little bit of math to figure out um, where we need to be versus where the rocket needs to be. I just want to make sure that there is a one block gap here so that when we... Good. That's all I wanted to check. All right, so now I'm going to do the transformation math to, to figure out how far we are versus the center of the rocket. Okay, so... Um, when we were at 1224, 76, negative 4951, it means that the rocket will be exactly where it's supposed to be. So that's where we're going to need to move it. And we're going to move the biggest thing we've ever attempted to move in Norsden land by this crane in 3, 2, 1, now. Let's just check and make sure we have lift capability, and we do. Okay, start inching this thing forward, and we're moving the rocket. So I'm going to begin lining up to 1, 2, 2, 4. We need to go to 76 now. Okay, we're at 76. 1, 2, 2, 4. So we should be able to um, park the craft now. 76. What? Oh, shoot. I forgot the crane has that annoying thing where you can't approach within the limits of the actual craft which means we're going to be one meter further away from the pad than we want it to be, but whatever. 
at least it's going to prevent um or is it shoot when we um when we decompile um shoot yeah that crane is going to be touching the uh that's no good. We're going to we're going to have to back it away from the structure. I can't have the crane touching the uh and we're going to have to redo the math too. Unfortunately. Ooh, careful. All right. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. Okay, new vector. Um, one one two one seven six uh, negative four nine five one, and we actually have two of those um, right now. We just need to line the third one up. Well, we do need um, to change our elevation slightly. And that seems to be position. So let's go ahead and hold here. And we seem to be very close. Uh, let's see if we actually did it. Yes, we are 100% in position. Excellent. Uh, so now all we need to do now is disconnect the rocket and connect it to its um, holding structure over there. Okay, so this is how we're going to do this. There's three stages. One stage is to attach the holding structure, um, which I'm starting. Uh, then the second stage is to prepare the um, capsule for, um, or prepare the rocket uh, to, um, excuse me, but this is the real terminology, mate with the capsule. And then after we do that, um, the then we need to disconnect the uh, holding structure or, or dis disconnect the holding structure to the actual rocket. I meant to the crane. security buffer down there. Okay, um, and here it is. So the holding structure is now done. Um, so all we have to do now is just put in some temporarily temporary blocks uh, until we're ready to actually connect the thing. And now we can begin the process of um, getting rid of the connections to the crane. Not bad. Write this down. Okay, I'm going to go park the crane and we'll be back after that. Last step is to get the helicopter and make sure that we have enough lifting power and then we can move the capsule 
um, on top of the rocket. And my frame rate dropped like crazy for some reason. And of course I was an idiot and forgot to put on the one piece adapter. Let's see if we've got it now. Okay, we do. Uh, now, before I'm an idiot and ruin everything, let's make sure we have lifting potential. Oh, silly me. I should have realized that that was not a selecting block. Why do you think I'm buffering? Come on, doctor. Why do you think you're buffering the other side? And of course the finkiest mod stuff is going to happen right now. Alright, I'm just going to stop the video until we get this hooked up. Okay, so um, one of the things that I don't like about um, the Trains mod, um, which I have installed, is that trains take a while to heat up, especially uh, electric trains, which drives me crazy because in real time, heating up is one thing that you don't want electric things to do. Um, so yeah, that is incredibly annoying. Do I have strength? I do not have strength. So I tried the lifting um, potential, and uh, we do not have enough lifting power. So we're going to need a bigger helicopter, which means I'm going to need to find some uh, air balloons. I'm going to go look for that right now. But yeah, I mean, warming up trains is kind of defeats the purpose of having the SkyTrain system. Because in the time you need to wait for it to warm up, you could go to your destination by don't tell anyone, but I uh, kind of ripped them up, ripped some off of the uh, um, old redstone capsule, but it's okay because they were just deflated airbags anyway. Uh, where am I going? Oh yeah, um, all the way to the end. Another problem is is there's no such thing as a pocket train, which kind of stinks. All right, um, I think the best way to do this is to give it another level, and then uh, let's do one, two, three, four like that. Actually, let's just add a fifth one in the back. It's gonna be harder to reach it now. Um, now, if this doesn't give us enough power, then we're in serious trouble. Okay, yeah, we've got it. And when I say serious trouble, I mean um, having to go somewhere to uh, 
get more air balloons. Or have to wait until night here, which I always hate doing, because uh, spiders are probably one of the most annoying things ever here. Okay, um, which side? The hatch is on that side, so let's go this way. kind of nice working on this scale because you can actually see the um, see the individual blocks that you're working around. Why did we stop going up? Just inching this thing on so that we won't have to worry about it accidentally connecting with the thing over there, which is possibly one of the most annoying things ever. Alright, let's see if we've got it now. It's also kind of annoying how it says, We've done it now. Doggone it. I should have put that buffer in, connected with the. Um, Yeah, we connected with the, uh, I can't believe it did that. Stupid, I had it like way out like here. But that's why you always do that, because now I lost the stone, and now we're going to have an ugly cobblestone walk because of somebody's incompetence. Okay. Um, that will block that from happening again. Although I guess in real life, I mean, this kind of stuff happened, not in the form of the ship won't compile here, but the issues of like, oh, well, this motor locked up, or, oh, shoot, we forgot to factor in this, that kind of thing. Um, happens all the time. Okay. So there is all of those. So let's go ahead and put these two together. Good, that is now connected. Uh, Here is the last piece, the gantry, which just goes right across. Uh, go ahead and eliminate the connection here between this. Yes, I actually got that for once. So now the helicopter is by itself. We're here. Uh, it's getting dark. I don't have any more stone, and we need to... I suppose this works just as fine. I don't see why we need a, uh, a roof. If it ra there's a there's a rain rule anyway, so it's not like it really matters. If it rains, we just don't go. And the rocket and uh, capsule are fully integrated. So let me go park this thing when it's going to be out of the way. 
and then we will go admire um, our next generation rocket which we will fly in the next episode somewhere where we're not going to be in the way of the vehicle carrying the astronauts. Forget what they call that thing. It's like the Astrovan or, or something like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and park here. Okay, so it's not inaccessible yet. That's good probably will be for Apollo era. And here it is, a fully completed uh, Gemini Titan II uh, with capsule ready for um, ready for countdown. Now, we might be able to get it to look a little bit more believable if I go over here. Oh, I forgot that. I should have gone up there. So one of the other neat things that I'm, I'm planning to do besides space exploration is I want to take the bathymetry of uh, Lake June over there um, because it's an interesting, it's like one of those clear crystal blue water lakes that people like to snorkel in. And right there, yep. So if, you, if you've ever seen, um, if you've ever seen the Gemini capsule, that is about this angle right here is about as close as you can possibly ever get in Minecraft to actually looking like the real thing um, because from this point of view um, it's nearly symmetric not completely but pretty darn close uh, like right there that that's a pretty darn good approximation of um, what the Gemini Titan 2 uh, with the capsule looked like. Uh, if you don't believe me, um, search for it on like Wikipedia or something, because it, to me at least, this looks like this thing looks like the real thing. Just just a, a um, depixelated version of it. Wow, that's really cool. Like even down to the rockets. I can't wait to fly this thing. Uh, which, by the way, will be next episode. So. Um, I see the counter's already counting down, so um, I'm going to go ahead and end it at the end of this video. Um, I thank you guys for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time uh, for the Beach One mission, which is a two-person two mission, and it's going to be very similar to the um, final Mercury mission we flew. See you next time. Bye.